Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Let me go over here and grab my notebook because I'm not good at remembering everything I need to say. And when I go and edit, I feel like you guys are so lost because I don't do a good job of remembering how to explain myself. So let me turn you around so you can see what we're working I started on. this channel doing weird reviews and not that long ago. So don't think you missed a lot because I have not posted that many videos. But probably about video number four, I really started to realize how bad everything looked on camera. Phone. <laughs> because I don't have a camera. I actually use my phone. I wanted to make my background look better. That's when I started doing my room makeover. For my first video, I changed what used to be my background to my TV slash desk area. And now I'm moving along to the coffee station with the goal of getting the whole room made over. But at the pace I'm moving so on. This know. is the current state of my coffee station. I have it on a bookcase that I picked up from Walmart years ago from Mainstay. And I think I paid probably $30 for this bookcase. I've used it in many different ways. I used it for like towel storage, just like a hallway bookcase. And now it is a coffee station and I wanna bring new life to it. I wanted to coordinate with my desk that I have. So my plans are to put wood paneling on the back and possibly paint it. It's really plain right now. And hopefully I'll give it a new life. everything moved off the coffee station and let me show you exactly what I have in mind try to explain it to you what I want to do is take these half circle dowels because they're flat on the back and they're round in the front I want to measure these to fit the bottom and the middle shelf and then leave the back of the top area plain so the supplies I have are of course the dowels of this saw to cut it which may take a long time a sanding block to get all the rough edges off wood glue electronic stapler and brad nailer and that way i can use that in the wood glue to attach the dowels to the back of the shelf i'm supposed to have some nails i gotta find those i'm gonna measure the bottom part first cut those pieces and then measure the middle, cut those pieces, and then we'll start connecting them. Just one sixteenth of an inch less than, well, I guess 16. So 15, 16? Let me not sound dumb, okay? Now let's see uh, how this fits. Okay, it's a little short for the top, so let's see how it goes on the bottom. This is a pretty good fit. I'm satisfied with it. So now I'm gonna open up this nail gun and nail it from the back side of this bookshelf. All right, so how do I load this thing? I don't normally like to read instructions, but for my safety, I think I better. 
Okay, I realized something. I have one inch brad nails. My brad tool only fits the half inch or the five eighth inch brad nails. So I'm gonna have to go to to get staples because brad nails are not available. I think I saw the half inch and that's better because I think the one inch are gonna be too long. I don't want it to be a hazard where I move the furniture and I get stuck because a nail is sticking out the back. So <sighs> we're gonna take a break pick up the supplies and come back. I the staples and now I know the staple is gonna show a lot heavier or it's gonna show a bigger line than the brand nail would have show. So I need to get some wood filler and some stain. That way I can cover up the areas where I put the staples in. I hope this works. Good morning. Okay, so it's been a few days since um, I was last with you guys. <gasps> Ciao. You can tell something didn't happen, right? I done messed up. The last time we were together, I had to go get staples because they weren't going to fit the nail gun. So we went to get those. And the next day, I went ahead and got started with my project. Go to use it during stapler. It don't work because it's like bouncing off of the back of the board because it's made out of some cardboard and I couldn't really put pressure on it. So I ended up gluing the dials on. I don't even get halfway doing my project and I run out of dials. So I run back out to Lowe's to get more. And they don't have any. And because the dials are glued, I can't. Um, take them off because they're glue and it's gorilla glue. Okay, yeah, it's wood glue, but it's gorilla wood glue, and it, it's holding. I completely busted my bookcase. Okay, just to go, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it out there. I busted the thing, so I'm like, Lord, I didn't came too far <laughs> to turn back now. So. I decided we're gonna scrap the original idea and go with a new material. I got um, panels, which is better because I won't have to have as much material because I need a lot of dials. Yeah, I didn't measure. <laughs> I thought I just I thought I could eyeball it, and it didn't work out like that. This is all like really kind of embarrassing. And at this point, I'm starting to lose confidence. If everybody, well, nobody's really watching. <laughs> Everybody's probably abandoned me at this point, but it should work. It's pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna take the wood panels that I bought and replace the back. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna cut our wood, pick a stain because I have an old stain that I had here, but I bought another one that I think will work better. I'm trying to sound real confident so I can hype myself up for all this stuff. <laughs> we're gonna build a shelf. I'm, <laughs> yes, honey, we're building a shelf. A bookcase. Yes. Mm. Okay, so I have everything mounted here. I don't know what it looks like from the front side because I haven't I haven't looked yet. But I do want to put my support back here. But on both sides, this 
has like a little gap between the point where I put in my nail or my staple to where it's going to actually go into the board. And I don't want to put it here because then it'll poke through and you'll see it from the front side. So what I think I'm going to do is take my scrap and just cut like thin pieces just to cover that little lip area. So I'll do one at the top and then one here at the bottom. All right, so I cut these little pieces of wood here. And I put two of here, but I forgot to start back filming and I already mounted this piece, but I got this one little piece here where I can show you what I did, so. Good. good morning all right so this is a, what my bookcase currently looks like i did make some changes to it and there are more changes to come it was white and i painted it this color called hourglass by glidden and i'll you know, put everything in the description if you're interested in any of the purchases I made for a reference for you guys. I also attached legs to the bottom. And I got the legs from Amazon. They're wood with a gold detail wrapped at the bottom. Really pretty. I was hoping Amazon wouldn't let me down and they didn't. They, they look just like they do online. They're beautiful. I love them. When I ordered the legs and it came, I looked at the screws and I knew I had to attach the legs on the bottom of this shelf. And this piece of wood was too thin for those screws to come up through the bottom. They would poke up through the bottom. So I went and got another piece of wood cut to fit under here. And I just wanted to be sure it was going to work because I'm going to have my coffee pot sitting up here. And I don't want my coffee... <laughs> My hot coffee to spill on me, nor do I want coffee to stain this off-white car carpet. That would just be a disaster. Um, and I, I just don't want anything to break because I bought some cute stuff to go on the shelf. I got to put a sweater on. I am cold. I looked on Pinterest to find something I could turn this into because I don't like the direction it's going. I don't like farmhouse and this is giving me farmhouse. And I did find something that I, I love. I think it's so pretty. And whenever I found it, I like held my phone up to like look at it in the corner. Like, yeah, that, that would look good in my room. So I'm going to try to make that what I saw my own. I'm going to change the back, of course, so I can draw the detail on it. And because I have these individual planks on mine, it's going to be a little rough. So I'm going to put contact paper across the back and I'm going to paint it. And then I'm going to take a black Sharpie and draw my design in. I'll probably do a pencil because I can't erase Sharpie. And I hope it looks good. And that's the easy part. The difficult part is going to be adding doors to it. And I don't want this video to be too long, so I probably will do a whole bunch of time lapse on this. And that way you can see how it all comes together.
disappointed with the lighting in here right now because when I got up this morning, it was so bright and beautiful and now it's cloudy. And this is the part where I really need to show off and you guys, you know, really need to see what everything looks like. But I got my ring light set up here, you know, and we're just gonna make it work. But look at this right here, gorgeous. I've already put my coffee pot back up because I'm ready. I want to talk about the doors real quick because that's something I didn't really want to detail about because I was afraid I wasn't even going to be able to do it. I was intimidated, but we powered through and we got it done. Look at this. I mean, of course it's not perfect, but if you're this close, you're looking too hard. Back up, okay? I couldn't do a better job than that. So I'm really happy. And then if you look at the stain, and then you look at the legs that I got from Amazon, I mean, it complements this so nicely. I didn't look for a stain that matched this exactly because I had two stains already. I had Early American and Jacobian or Jacobin. I'm not sure how to pronounce those. But what I did was take the Early American and I went over the doors with it. And then after that, I went over it with Jocko Bean, but I did it really lightly because I didn't want it to go too dark. And it turned out really good because I have like some lighter tones and some really deep areas with the stain. Like if you notice here, it's a little darker in certain areas. And then there's this gold detail on the legs here that tie in with the fish. These are from Amazon as well. But the fish are a little more of an antique gold when the legs are a little more of a yellow gold. So maybe one day I'll go to Hobby Lobby or Michael's and find some paint. That way I can brighten up the knobs. That way they'll pop because they do get a little lost with the dark color of the cabinets. And they tie in with the fish that I have on my desk. If you watch my last video, you know I have knobs on my desk. That is a little fish or a fish, because it's only one knob. And this one doesn't attach like most other knobs. It has a prong, so I just pushed it in and then I had to use a hammer to open it up. And it's really secure, it's not gonna go anywhere. I actually like it like that, especially with this type of pool. I feel like this would eventually unscrew if I had a different type of attachment here. And then of course I have my hinges that are so tight like you can hear it pop when I open the cabinet door. I had to fight in order to get the doors on. Look at all the holes I created because I had to line this up perfectly. And it was hard because it, it had to be just right, but it works. <laughs> it was a bit of a challenge. So it stays. Here I have stoppers that I attach. That way when I close the cabinet doors, it doesn't push in too far. They do have magnets here that are supposed to attach to the doors, but because the shelf is not fixed, when I use the magnet, it pulls at the shelf. So I didn't attach the magnet to the doors. When I did my painting, I marked the line so I would know where my shelf my bottom shelf was going to be to become a compartment that way when i got down here i didn't have to work as hard and i took advantage of that because i got tired that was hard it really hurt my back to have to hold my arm up to do the drawings and the painting and then towards the end i placed the cabinet flat down so i could lean over and draw and that was oh it was so hard on my back so i gave up towards the end i was like forget it <laughs> so look at this a mess. I did a really good job of achieving the design on the top two shelves. I was like, I'm gonna go <laughs> Game of Thrones style on this. We're gonna start off really strong and then we're just gonna go to crap <laughs> when we end it, okay? But that's okay because I have these fabulous doors to keep that covered up. Child, this video long. I try to keep it as short and sweet as possible, but to give you all the details, it's just hard to rush through that. But hopefully you're enjoying this video. And if you are, click the like button and subscribe to my video and post a comment. We're going to go ahead 
and start doing the styling part of this video, which is the part I've been waiting for because it's fun. Let me turn you around so you can see what we have. We earned it because we worked really hard to get to this point and we are finished. So I think that's worth celebrating. It didn't go the way I planned from the get go, but everything that we went through brought us to this point because we really could have just taken the original bookcase as it was, painted it with this off-white color, put the design on the back of it and added doors. I think in my head that I'm pretty good at interior design and decorating. But in a lot of cases, I find that what I like originally or what I think is going to work doesn't. We went <laughs> through trying to put dowels on the bag, couldn't get those off, had to take off the bag, added boards, stained those boards, hated it, and then that got us here. So it was worth it to me. And it was kind of fun just to like be able to show you guys the creative process because sometimes whenever you have something in mind you realize as you go along that it's not what you hope for and that's okay give yourself grace and start over i don't have time to do a haul because this video is already super long so what i'll do is i'll go in the description and i'll just link the items i have below if they're still available i have this from decenio that I know I'm stuck with and it's coffee. I bought it specifically for this coffee station and now I can't use it and I know I can't return it. It's late. I've been working at this so hard. This has consumed a bunch of time, but it was time well spent and I hope you enjoyed your time with me as well. And I will see you in the next one. Hopefully it'll be very soon. Talk to you later. Bye.